Hi everybody, today's focus is all about lettuce. I'm gonna test how much bacteria is on the lettuce before and after using various vegetable washes. Today's video is a viewer request. I've had requests asking me to test different vegetable washes from Maria, JP6846, Paula Clark, AZR721, hmm, 6637, and others. I also have a community post I think has about 40 comments or so where people would tell me different things that I should try and test and what vegetables I should test. So this ought to be an interesting experiment. I purchased some organic spinach in spring mix from Walmart. I have eaten this in the past. I do eat this probably more in the winter than in the summer when I can get fresh lettuce from my garden or a farmer's market. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this works. I did purchase the organic version of this and it says it's washed and ready to eat. Well, I always wash my vegetables anyway, even if they say they're washed. So in order to test how much bacteria is on the vegetables before and after cleaning, what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab the lettuce. I'm gonna place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna wash my lettuce according to a couple of different methods, which I'll go into in a second, swab the lettuce again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's gonna go there. So I looked at various ways that people wash their lettuce, and I'm also gonna test the way that I wash my lettuce, <laughs> and we'll see how this comes out. So the first way is gonna be the way that I like to do, and that is with sal suds. So the directions on sal suds say to put one drop of sal suds in a bowl of water. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's usually what I do in my house, is I do a drop of sal suds in a bowl of water, I swish the lettuce around, I rinse it, dry it, and I'm done. So that's one way I'm gonna test. The second way I'm gonna test is someone had suggested vinegar. So I looked up vinegar and I found over and over and over again that you should use one part vinegar, three parts water. So I'm gonna use that. And baking soda was something else that someone had suggested. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of baking soda in four cups of water. And last, I'm gonna just test water. So in order to make these tests consistent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lettuce that I sample in the bowl with either the vinegar, the baking soda, the sal suds, or just the plain water. I'm gonna swish them around in there, and I'm gonna let them sit for five minutes. Then I'll rinse them, dry them, and resample them. I will wash all the utensils in the bowls in between each test, and I will also swab my paper towels that I'm drying the lettuce on to make sure that I'm not introducing any bacteria. Now, if we find bacteria, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a pathogenic bacteria or a bacteria that's gonna make us sick or a bad bacteria. There are a lot of good, healthy uh, bacteria in our environment that don't cause us any harm. So it's very possible if we see bacteria on the lettuce that it is not a make you sick bacteria, but just rather a beneficial bacteria. So let's see how well cell suds Baking soda, vinegar, just water. Remove bacteria from lettuce.
Now for some results. Before we get started, the first result I want to say, and I forgot to take a picture of it, and I apologize, um, I did swab the paper towels, and there was no bacterial growth at all on all the paper towel swabs that I took. Now let's look at the lettuce before and after being washed with a drop of sal suds in a bowl of water. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and a couple different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, it looks like just about the same amount of bacteria that's in the before section is in the after section. It even looks like there might be slightly more of the small yellow colony from these results. It looks like the cell suds has no impact on the amount of bacteria that's on the lettuce after being washed with it. Next, let's look at vinegar. In the before section, again, we can see a lot of bacteria, pretty consistent with the first sample that we looked at. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. From these results, I think the vinegar may be able to remove a little bit of bacteria, but nothing significant at all from the lettuce. Next, let's have a look at the baking soda. In the before section, again, we're seeing a lot of bacteria, different types of bacteria. Looks very similar to the other two tests that we ran already. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria. So I'd say the baking soda is similar to the vinegar results in which it looks like it decreases it a little bit, but nothing significant. And last, let's look at just using water. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. Again, very similar to the other two results. And in the after section, we're also seeing a bit of a visible decrease in bacteria. So just rinsing with water seems to do almost the same as the vinegar and the baking soda, and maybe even a little bit better than the cell suds. So for this test, the controls are a little difficult, right? When I'm testing my, let's say my kitchen sink, I swab the exact section of my kitchen sink before and after cleaning with a cleaner. So you can absolutely see for certain, I swab an area, I clean the area, I swab it again, and you know it's exactly that spot that I'm swabbing and testing. With the lettuce, it's a little bit more difficult. I'm just swabbing all the different lettuce pieces and I'm doing the best I can to actually get it. I was trying to really lightly rub the swab on the lettuce, not to tear the lettuce and also not to get my hands on the lettuce. Um, so it was a bit difficult and I was surprised that I was able to pick up as much bacteria as I was. But I'm slightly surprised by these results. I expected at least one of them to have like a significant decrease in bacteria. So let me ask you to put in the comment section how you clean your lettuce. Now remember, with these tests, I tried to keep them consistent. So the sal suds, the vinegar, and the baking soda, I swished them in there and I let them sit for five minutes, then I rinsed them. I did the best I could to maintain a similar atmosphere for each test. But what do you do? Do you let them sit in vinegar for 10 minutes? Do you use a different kind of vegetable wash? Do you use a different ratio of vinegar? Now remember I used, I'll look it up again so I don't forget. I used one drop of sal suds to that bowl of water. I used one part vinegar, so I used one cup of vinegar, three parts water. I tested two teaspoons of baking soda in four cups of water and just the bowl of water, all soaking for five minutes. Also, if there's another vegetable you want me to test, put that in the comment section too. I know we had a really nice community post. We talked about different fruits and vegetables that might even be easier to clean than lettuce. I just chose lettuce because a lot of people have mentioned it and I was curious myself. But I think one of my friends actually had mentioned lemons. Those might be easier for me to swab and test. So if you want to see more fruit and vegetable swabbing before and after cleaning, just put in the comments section and I'll take all those suggestions and if there are enough people who want to see this again, I'll pull together another video. As always, if there is something you want me to test, put in the comments section. I will add it to my viewer's suggestion list, or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first before you mail me something. That's also in the description below so we can have a conversation about the product that you want to send me for me to test. I have a pretty large backlog right now of products that I'm testing, so I want to make sure that if you're going to mail me something, it's not something that I already have in my home. Also, if you want to see results of my experiments really early before I get to release them on YouTube, 
or if you just want to converse with me more, join my Patreon page. The link to that is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.